Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2019 with Herbert Hoofenboof. And he is in search of a team. And the offer from Gazprom is running out on the 18th. So we have one more day to decide if we want to stick with the team. <coughs> No, no. <coughs> and and uh, I, I need to uh, properly think this through. So uh, let's get let's get racing here. We are very very close to a let's uh, let's play let's play of the let's level up. Yes, correct. Ah, oh, this will be a very quick stage. 150 kilometers flat, and we are completely dominating overall. Yeah, that's looking nice. But I think that might change because we are definitely not going to uh, beat Christoph by uh, or uh, if we come tenth, maybe ninth, something. Let's see. No, no, he would get 25 points, right? And yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that will be a little tough. And here we go with the minus two. Holy shit! You are not the luckiest person in the world. Why can't we have this guy's stats? They look juicy today. The only thing that is worth pointing out is that the finish line indeed is ever so slightly inclined. About 3%, I would think. Oh wow, they really let the uh, escapees ride. Uh, the best rider has 13 minutes. I've now just set one teammate to work, just to keep it down a little bit. Um, so, from 9 something minutes down to 6. That's pretty solid. But yeah, they are going to win. So, Christoph, fuck you. Oh, we're gaining on them like crazy. What's going on? Why haven't they upped the pace yet up front? They're riding horribly slow. They still have a kilometer or so of advantage, but um, that can melt really quickly. Mass bonnet the traitor. Let's follow him. All right, we're in a good place. Um... Five kilometers left to go. Four for the escapees. One minute and 24. I don't think they have thick legs just late yet, so they should be making it. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty solid so far. My helper is soon going to die. We are at the three kilometer mark. Getting very close to our 99% sprint. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go, go, go. Go, Herbert. Go. Uh, go. No. That is, that is too, too slow. Go. Go as hard as you can. No, you're way too slow. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Not a chance anyway. Oh, now they are riding across the line backwards. How does that count? How, how do they calculate time then, when if they cross twice? Oh, three times then, right? Yes. Uh, across the line, back over the line, and then across the line again. In the end, it was just 44 seconds. But, uh, yeah, Christoph uh, did get the fifth place. And that means he's now leading by three points. Might be able to grab that back on the final stage. I believe that was a little more mountainous. 11 points. Ah, almost level up. And we can forward time once more before we have to make the final decision on staying with Gazprom or not. Yeah, I doubt Christoph is going to uh, have much of a chance on this one. Uh, looks more like a stage four for us. Yeah, and we are the favorite for this one. Uh, unless we, of course, get uh, another shit roll on the race day condition and Landa gets uh, the roll of his lifetime. Um, yeah, some, some other climbs along the way. I don't think we have to hustle and bustle for the uh, climbers jersey, but no, no, definitely not. We have that that one guaranteed. Um, and Michelana, 31 seconds. That's good to know. Paulus uh, is eight seconds behind. That is more critical. So we do have to come at least third if he wins. And today we have a zero race day condition, boys. Well, that's fine, I, I guess. Um, so that climb is pretty steep. Really steep, to be exact. But we do have a decent helper, of course. So that is really good. And he will probably be able to cover us until the steep stuff kicks in. 
So let's focus on Lunda and see if we can get some more info about him. He has a lot higher resistance than we do. 10 SKPs up front, uh, 3 minutes 15 now on the clock. That will increase for those little climbs that are coming, I would assume, as they are going, tend to be going pretty hard. No, they didn't. Okay. So, not much of, um, of an obstacle there today. I think they are going to rein them in just fine. But I don't want to give them more than something like a two-minute gap before the final climb. Although it doesn't really matter, we don't need a stage win here. Yeah, limited 70 on this second to last climb. And uh, across the top, just 2 minutes 20 on the clock to the escapees. So that's pretty much spot on where we want to be. Someone is grabbing water bottles. Perfect as well. Oh, now they are increasing the pace, yes. Into this first little climb. And then I need to make sure that we are getting a little further to the front starting the climb. All right, there we go. It now kicks up. This is the climb we are in. Okay, very good. So who's going? Uh, no one so far. Ah, Tim Valens is trying. Yeah, that would be would be a little bit of a punch for him. That's for sure. He has the capability of taking this if the peloton is sleeping. But are we? Yeah, he goes in the attack, and we are just riding along at eighty. That is pretty much super strong. And I think we can up it to 85. Now, our helper here doesn't like that, of course. Five more kilometers. I think we could go them at 85. And that would only leave Lunda and myself, because everyone else would be dying. Uh, they are moving at a good pace at the moment, around 80. So, I don't have to accelerate further at the moment. But when it's getting steeper than this, I'm going to go 85 because that is, yeah, that is more efficient. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's make the tempo a little tougher. And that was good timing also for the, the road was getting a little, little tight. Just a little tight. 3.3 kilometers left. And, yeah, we are making our way to the escapees, or at least um, one of the remaining the groups. And there, our helper... Oh, no, you, you fucking assholes! Get out of the way, you bastards! Did you see that? Triple blocked! Holy shit! That was a good 15 seconds of, um, of distance here on those, those slopes. So, 1.3 kilometers left. We are still at a very good pace. Quintana is trying to follow. Lunda is a little bit of a... Uh, of behind. Behind, behind. Um, let's use our red stuff as well. Do we actually accelerate? Yeah, a little bit. But it's... Uh, that might not be because of the red stuff. Um, yeah, okay. So, let's go 99 and sprint, 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 sprint. Go on, Kidana, fuck off, fuck off, mate. I think we might even get time on Kidana there. The Winning it, today. yes, Herbert Hufenpoof. Uh, eight seconds, yes. And that should be a clean sweep of the entire tour. All the jerseys, I believe. Yeah, yeah, because we got 25 points for this one as well, so points jerseys, ours. And that, of course, also means level up. So, general standing, 40 seconds, and there we have 75 points, and plenty of points there, um, same distance, and then, eh, hashtag, maybe mention the team, but they, <laughs> didn't they screw me over last episode? Um, almost screwed me over by doing crazy shit with the uh, mount points. But, anyway, we got, what? How? Ah, okay, fifth, top top five. Okay, and we finished first. Uh, 100 fucking points. Holy moly. That is... That is big. Okay, well, I take that. Uh, and we do... Yes, we do get our 
proper level up and then we have access to the Tour de France on the next level up and just another skill point which we are not allowed to spend. So what can we take? This one looks um, mediocre at best. But cobblestone upgrade, yeah, exactly what I was looking for. So stage race is probably not. Um, it's quite weak. The resistance on the climber is nice. Plus two there. And time trial still goes up. All the others go up by one still. Um, oh, time trial reduces mountain by one. Whew, that means we are maxed. We are currently maxed. This is our highest potential. We can have 83. But it's more than enough. I'm happy with that. Um, time trial only gives us one time trial. And two prologue. That's quite nice. And the resistance is nice, of course. So same here. We need to take something that is not hurting mountain. Should have known that before. But yeah, it's also quite nice with the resistance. Uh, puncher. Ah, adds one to stamina and two to resistance and two to hill. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I know what we are going for. But let's check it all out. Northern classics, definitely not. And Baroudeur. another one in flat would be nice, but ah, that hurts. And look at that. Yeah, I think this would be the strongest choice if it weren't for that. This is really solid. Really, really solid. But all right, it is the puncher. Uh, we are going to increase hills by two. Uh, prologue goes up by one, that's always handy. And a little bit more acceleration. Also, stamina plus one, resistance plus two. Very important. Cool. Continue. Confirm. Yes, very good. So, uh, still no team interested in me? I don't think so. Yeah, look at this bullshit. Like, we're, we're just winning everything. Completely crushing the types of lander in, in the mountains. Like, yeah, no problem. Uh, and then, like, no one fucking cares. Like, that that would be something where the uh, the pro teams are going like, Oh shit, this this dude, whoever gets him in, in one or two years, will have a tour winner. <laughs> so, uh, yeah... Yeah, last day for the offer, Gazprom. I mean, it can't be much worse than Gazprom, right? So, uh, I think I'm just going to chance it here. Let's see who else wants to pick me up. Um, let's see, see the, where do we see that in rider data? And in contract. No. Maybe these guys want to pick me up. They seem to be a little better. They have some mountain riders that are decent. But they are Frenchies. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that! Our old <laughs> our old guys are willing to pick us up again. Well, they are still better than Gazprom. Uh, yeah, they, they are quite solid. We don't have a... Although, with Gazprom, we do have... Um, we do have, if he's still in there... At, at the moment he is, but will he be next season? And we have a decent climber there. And, of course, um, this guy as well. So, we do have some support. But I really don't like how they are not racing the bigger races. And maybe with Kofidis, or this, this Frenchy team, or, well, this team will probably won't care. Uh, but any of the others might race the Tour de France because they're Frenchies and Frenchies love love that stuff so yeah let's let's turn this down and just see what happens maybe I get picked up by FC Porto oh that wouldn't be too bad <laughs> they probably wouldn't be racing anything that is interesting but uh, yeah quite would fit into the profile of this all right, offer refused. There we go. Now oh, it is the Tour of Denmark. That is a pancake times five. Let's take it on. We can uh, shovel down some pancakes. Oh, minus two to start us out with. 
Doesn't matter. Michael Stash has us covered. But one thing is for certain, and that is the Danish sure do know how to ride in the flat. They are setting quite the pace here. And it's not, of course, only the Danes, but kind of mixed field. But every Dane is now going crazy. Uh, so, 10 kilometers left, and we shall show off um, Herbert Hufenpuff's newfound sprint capabilities. Oof! The lead out by Michael Stash is a little too too hot for Michael. And, yeah, good positioning there. Nope! Oh. Herr Jungles! Bob, what are you doing, mate? That is not quite your... Oh, it is, it is quite your train, actually. I'm just so used to seeing him in the hills, but he's better in the flat right now. And the covers. He he can do everything. He's just that kind of all-rounder. So let's go hard. Oh, there's a corner coming. Let's go really hard. And 2.5k left. We are in prime position. Don't go that hard. Don't go that hard. Now the there, now. Okay. Jungles, the rear, we, we take your wheel. Uh, the the, come on! Come on, you can you can go, you can go. Can you follow Colbrelli maybe? No? Can you follow anyone? Can you follow Jungles? No. Can you follow this guy? Y yeah, and he's pretty decent, but pretty empty. No, okay, that's not a good idea. So just sprint. Go, 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 Hamad. Go, Hamad. I, I said go, 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 Hamad. Ah. Oh fuck. Who's this? Oh, he's our sprinter. Okay. And Colbrelli took the first round. So now, uh, let's go to the second pancake. I think the Danish mountains are just a little too much for us. This is looking crazy. That is a lot of wind. And a lot of zero race day condition. And these mountains are not steep. But the um, sprint to the line, a lot of downhill. So we might be able to stick to uh, some of the favorites. It is very windy, but nothing significant has happened apart from Peloton breaking apart a few times here and there, but always being glued together in the end. And yes, they are racing pretty hard. And here comes one of the few climbs, so why not uh, go pretty hard at it? That's the only thing we we really can do, so... Uh, Michael Stash, don't, please don't die, mate. Uh, you, you just stay behind. Uh, that's that's a little bit more appropriate a place for you. Uh, Hoofenboof can lead the way. Who are you? Are you trying to get some points? We're in a little group of just 28 riders. So And they are going hard. <laughs> they are going really hard. Um, uh, yeah, I think we might have a chance for the top 10 at least. Let's see if we can attach to a good wheel. Whew, I don't know if we can follow him even in the downhill. That is really fucking fast, especially the acceleration is scaring me. Uh, they are a little empty. Ooh, Colbrelli is looking strong. Oh, that is a headwind. Um, maybe. You could try to attack. We're not that great on the flat, of course. Well, uh, it's a little futile. And they are still racing pretty hard. Yeah, Jungles is pulling them. All right, let's get into a good position before this critical section. There's another corner there. And another corner there. Ooh, interesting. Um, yeah, but they are in, in, really good, in a really good place. Let's just move. And... Come on. Are they accelerating now? They need to start sprinting now, really. Colbrelli is attached to myself now. That is uh, not the way around we wanted it. But let's go a little harder. A rider is down. Let's go a little harder. And a lot harder. Follow him. Can we follow him? Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, have it. Go. Just go. Just go. Just go. There's so many corners here. Just go. Come on. Come on. Is that a... Is that a third place? For yes! Bray. Yes! <laughs> third place for Hammett! Very nice! And that gives us 23 points, not too bad. And this finish is almost something where we uh, could produce another top 3, maybe. Although it's Hillstead that counts and thusly 
I think uh, Hebert will struggle a little bit more than uh, than he potentially should. Um, anyway, yeah, there's some really good riders in here. Uh, negative one today, so no bonus stat points. That's a shame. And, ooh, yeah, that is a little steep. Uh, brain cancer once again. The uh, front group doesn't want to fetch any drinks. What? You're stupid. Now we get into the hilly last section of this race. There's almost a good finish for a classic. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a fourth category climb coming up. And oof, they are pulling hard. They are pulling really hard. Let's get out to the side here and see if we uh, can't grab a few points in case the escapees actually are dying in that climb. And no, uh, not Some just yet. Um, the and now we're doing the lead speed. work. Let's see. Can we shoot past them? No, no, we are ass-seeking missile. Oh, holy shit, you so fucking idiot. Go, oh, man. This is just cancer AI. <laughs> uh, it is exactly doing what it shouldn't. Yep, beautiful. And now we're moving towards the final climb. And we need a better position than this, that's for sure. And we do have plenty of resistance, so I don't mind putting some effort into that. And reducing our yellow bar further. It's fine. Uh, Bob has to be pulling again. He always does. And he might actually take it from the front. <laughs> Wouldn't put that above him. Um, okay. Okay. Have it. Looking good. We are moving strong. Come on. Come on. It's still looking good. You need to go a little harder now. Let's go 99. Come on. Go 99. Around the corner. Why are you so ba baked into the side there, you bastard? Alright. There we have it. Go 99. Go 99. Oh, fuck those sprinters. Um, yeah, not much of a chance there. Sprint, Habit. Sprint. Sprint, you can do it! You can do it! That's definitely not a podium place. But fifth! It looks like it. Come on. Yep, fifth. Not too bad. Colbrelli is taking another one. Well done, he seems to be in form. 16 points. Still looking good. And pancake number four. Let's take it. Oof, that's a day where we need to watch out for the wind. 44. Holy shit, okay. That's not where you're supposed to uh, save anything and just... No yo-yoing, please. Please, stop it right there. Uh, Mr. Stash? No, we, we, we take this guy. Yeah, he's already protecting us. Uh, you are locked in, sir. All right, last five kilometers. We need to go. Come on, have it. Have it. Do, do your best. Do your, do your sprinty thing. Well, not maybe quite as much. Now you're at the front. Now you can hang in there a little. Yes, recuperate all the red. Uh, are there corners coming? That doesn't matter. I don't don't win in the sprint anyway. So we are in a pretty good, decent position. Can we follow anyone? No, we cannot. We are just not quite fast enough for that. And the final kilometer will be a very slow one. And it looks very fast. Uh, that is the only way to make um, uh, to make habit look fast you you just record it's basically like playing impressive guitar on on YouTube or something you you play it and then you uh, you re replay it at twice the speed and then it looks really good and clean and fast and that is what habit does for his spreads uh, for unfortunately everyone else still looks much faster than him in those instances Ah, there we go. 14 kilometers worth of time trial. And looking pretty flat, as you'd expect. And yeah, who is the favorite? Uh, we are not. Ooh, okay. Some prologuers here. Some proper prologuers. Finish on the top five. And finish in the top five of the general classification. Let's see if we can do uh, both of these. Oh, Hesinger. Okay. Well, uh, that is interesting. Ah, okay. Well, it's just a reuse of a stage that is um, 
Pretty common. It's just selected a name that is, is cl close to it there. That's fine. Um, Alright. You might be wondering why I am wondering. Uh, I lived for a long time in Lund, which is in the south of Sweden, of course. So uh, that name, uh, of course, rings a bell if you, um, if you have lived there for a while. And Hebet is on the ramp. What do we get? Oh, plus one. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, plus three in prologue and plus two in time trial. Oh, that's powerful. So uh, we are going to aim for 76, I believe, from what I've seen in heart rates of my teammates. See if that holds up. Well, that seems about right. 175, 176. This is pretty much into the wind, so we don't expect... Oh, no, wait a second. I think the... T yeah. The time trials completely ignore the wind, which is so ridiculous. I, I guess it's a little fairer than that way, but um, yeah, still, it's bullshit. Oh, may maybe that's a bug they still haven't fixed. I don't know. Is that intentional? Oh, maybe? No? Maybe the, the wind, they fixed it. Because I remember, yeah, this looks like it's fixed. Um, 54 and so on, now downwind. Because I very much remember in last year's edition, I think that was still a case where in time trials, wind didn't make any difference. Now we're going hard. Come on, Herbert. Herbert, go. Go, Herbert. Go, Herbert. Yes. Uh, eighth. How the hell? How can Herbert just be an eighth? <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, I mean, um, it is more of a prologue, and he's not that great in prologue. And prologue is a stat which very much increases with, um, which is one of the sensitive stats to race day condition. And because everyone else gets a plus one, because we are racing on extreme difficulty, I think that's the case. Um, and there are plenty of riders here that have high race day conditions, that means that in a prologue you are more disadvantaged um, than in a time trial. So yeah, eighth makes sense. So in the overall, we managed to finish fifth. Okay, that's quite nice. Fifth there, fifth there, third. Yeah, it's a decent, decent result. And gets us 50 points. <laughs> 50 points for five pancakes. Where we didn't even do that well. Uh, all right, all right, I take it. More than halfway down the line, and oh, yeah, there's one last thing to do before um, uh, before ending this. Let's check it out. Check out the contracts. Are they just saying that we have that we are fucked? Probably, because nothing has happened here. Yeah, let's let's actually read it. Yeah, see few opportunities for 2021. In the coming days, I shall do my utmost to secure an offer. In the meantime, give it your all and, uh, and win any races. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we just did a clean sweep of an HC race, in case you had forgotten. Has that helped anything? Maybe? No? Oh, oh, okay. It's it's that kind of, of uh, do your utmost. But anyway, I think we... Uh, we shall end it for today in this particular spot and I hope you enjoy and see you guys next time.